you're watching She Takes on the World TV, your weekly dose of soaring inspiration and practical advice for your business and your life. I'm your host, Natalie, and in today's episode, we are going to be talking about something that affects every single one of us. When you know exactly what you want and why you want it, what can stop you from achieving success? I'll tell you, dragons. Dragons are a pandemic of negative thoughts and limiting beliefs that hold us back in ways that sometimes we don't even realize. They make us idle and feel like even though we're putting forth a lot of effort, we're not getting the kind of results that we were expecting. Our personal dragons stand in the way of our dreams and breathe fire at us. Our dragons also have a couple superpowers. First, they're shapeshifters and can take the form of fear, unworthiness, procrastination, and a whole bunch of other limiting beliefs and negative thought patterns. Second, they also feed on your fear and your limiting beliefs, growing stronger and stronger. I asked my readers what limiting beliefs they felt were holding them back the most, and this is what I found. I don't think I could handle being a failure. It's going to be so hard to get to where I want to be. I feel so far away from my dreams that I don't even know how to get started. Nobody understands what I'm trying to do and it sucks to hear negativity from the people who are closest to me. Do you identify with any of those limiting beliefs? Conquering your dragons may be one of the biggest challenges you face, but with the right tools and the right mindset, you can get to a point where you can conquer your dragons with effortless ease. I have an exercise for you to help you slay your dragons right now. Get out a journal or a piece of paper, and I want you to identify one of your dragons. Next, I want you to go through and write down all the ways that that limiting belief or negative thought pattern is affecting your life. Just free write and see what you come up with. When you're done writing about it, I want you to mindfully surrender that dragon. Imagine it disintegrating into beautiful white light. And then we're gonna take that limiting belief and turn it into a limitless belief. To do that, you wanna think of a mantra that is pretty much the opposite of the limiting belief or negative thought that was holding you back. Let me give you an example. If one of your limiting beliefs is, I'm worried I will fail, your limitless belief would become, I will succeed beyond my wildest dreams. Another common limiting belief with entrepreneurs is feeling alone or misunderstood as you're building a business. So a limitless belief that you could use potentially to replace that is, I am always supported as I work towards my dreams and goals. I want you to take these affirmations to heart. Let them sink in so that they're deep within your core and you really feel them. So that is how we slay your dragons. If you know someone else who could benefit from this video, we would love for you to share it with your friends. And for updates that we only put into our weekly email newsletter, please come on over to shetakesontheworld.com. Thank you so much for watching this episode of She Takes on the World TV, and I will see you next time. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you tips for crafting the perfect pitch. Now, I've won a couple really big pitch competitions and secured angel funding for my company by making pitches. So.